This video is for all the entrepreneurs and startups out there, or for anyone who's looking to register a business and start a business inside the US using a digital mailbox technology. Barry, lovely to speak to you. Good to see you, Tim. So let's say I'm starting a business from scratch. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a startup, I'm inside the US or even outside. How do I deal with the address challenge? Right, well, you know what many entrepreneurs do? Uh, they use their home address. Right. And my advice would be not to do that. <laughs> right. And the reason is because it's very important to have a real business address. Mm. Uh, if you want to apply for a loan, the first thing the lender will do is check your address. If it's a home address, right. they're going to deny you right away. Right, game you, over. You need a real business address. Mm. Also, to protect your privacy. Do you want all the interaction you have with customers and vendors and, and so forth to know what your address is? No, you want a, a, a real business address uh, and that's how they see you. And it's good for your business image. When you have a real business address, people look at you differently than if you're working out of your home. It makes a lot of sense. And particularly if I'm trying to start a business in the US but I'm somewhere else, I can't even use that Australian address, for example, where you know, right. I come from. So uh, how does the technology work here? How do I, using digital mailbox, get an address inside the US if I'm out, or just if I want to pick a different location around the US? Right. So there are companies like iPostal1.com mm -hmm. that make it very easy to do that. They offer over uh, 350 addresses across the US. So you can literally pick wherever you'd like to be. Or if you want to have multiple addresses and establish multiple locations, of business presence in different states, different cities, you can choose as many addresses as you want. So it makes it also easy with a couple of clicks and you put in some basic information and presto, you have your business address. And it's a real street address, not a PO box. So uh, uh, you can receive all your mail packages and use it for all your business needs. So it's, it's a real deal. That's it's right. a virtual address That's right. that actually does everything that mail right. can do. Right. Uh, I want to ask a question before we talk about the, the app that shows up when you do this, uh, which is, it sounds expensive. What are we talking about here, ballpark? Uh, no, well, the beautiful thing is these plans start as low as nine ninety nine a month. So, so you can establish uh, a business. I want to say this. I'm just thinking aloud. Yeah. For 120 bucks a year, I can Something establish like a business right. address in the right. U.S. And you know, for entrepreneurs, <laughs> what are they worried about? Their cash flow, of course. Right. And uh, so the tendency is, well, I could never afford a real business address. Right. So they choose the home address. But no, the truth is, they can have a business address and uh, conserve their cash as well. Uh, it sounds amazing to me. I wish I'd known about this years ago. And last, t uh, last thing I want to ask about, so again, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a startup. Uh, these people travel, they move. Uh, uh, so I want to say, how do I get to this? Let's say I, I'm living in Austin, which is where I live. I pick an address in New York. How do I actually get the mail? I think there's an app for that. Right, so you can get a, a view uh, each piece of mail. You receive your packages. You see an image in the app, or you can go online. And then with a couple of clicks on any given mail item that you receive, communicate back to the mail center where your mail was received, mm -hmm. what you want to do with each item. Whether you want to forward it on to any address anywhere in the world, whether you want them to open that piece of mail and scan the contents, so you can see a PDF and read that uh, content right so away crack on your open app. Your mail and so scan crack it for up, you. right, only when you ask them to do that for right. that particular item. Mm -hmm. Or there are things you don't need, they can toss those and uh, recycle them. So it keeps everything clean, current, and you can create folders to store your mail so you know where everything is when you need to find it. You get the uh, free gig, uh, uh, four gigabytes of uh, storage with your, with your digital mailbox. All right, and I've, uh, that sounds very helpful to me. It sounds like the natural evolution of mail, honestly, you know, from snail mail to the digital version. Uh, I've heard a rumor that let's say, I'm, again, I'm outside the country, I'm traveling, whatever. Uh, for me, one of the big days is when a check shows up in the mail, right. and I'm not going to wait till I get back there, whatever, to bank it. I think there's a, an app for that, too. Right, well, one of the tasks that you can request is to supply a check. And it's done by mail. You fill out the information so the mail center knows where to uh, send your check and deposit it for you. So whether you're there or not, you can uh, start using that cash a lot sooner than if you had to wait to... Yeah go there physically yourself and deposit sounds like, yourself. Sounds like a very helpful answer. Right. I feel like you guys have been working on this for more than a few days. Well, yes, we've given <laughs> a lot of thought to it. And you know, we really believe in startups and entrepreneurs. So mm. it's the engine of our economy, whether people from outside or inside the country are doing it. And uh, we want to do what we can to help them be successful. And so that's Makes what it's here sense. for. Makes a lot of sense. Well, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are looking to start a business, to register a business address uh, in the US, entrepreneurs, startups, this is a great tool for you. So uh, please go to ipostal1.com to start your very own digital mailbox with a virtual address.